the day has come. It's finally here. Finally here and finally ready. You see the, 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 the uh, roof chop. Roof caps right here. This number one deck is slid in all the way. You said it slides about three, four feet out. Really nice color combo. Came out really nice. You got your uh, height stick and loading bar storage here. Standard on Boydston. Hydraulic tank. Your hydraulic bank for the truck. You got one, the number one there. You got two, which is right here. Your three, which is that one. And then four is the articulating deck. tracks that go down there drop pockets actually go down there as well you can take the pin out move them lower this valve when it's down you can operate trailer and truck if you disconnect the truck from the trailer and you still want to operate the hydraulics without your fitting seizing up at the back you just flip this over it says right there Loading lights. What I really like about Boydston, all their loading lights and all the lights, actually, even these marker lights, they're all on Deutsch connectors. That's a pretty cool thing, and they're not all you don't have to cut or nothing, you just disconnect it, hook up another one with the, with the uh, Deutsch connector, and you're off to the races. Two foot sliding fifth wheel. There's a ton of room back here. I don't think the video does it justice. There's a lot of room back here. Low lights. Little storage compartment. These move up and down. Your uh, trailer stands. They disconnect the trailer, they hook up right there on the other side. these as well so I believe these drop about five inches um, if you lift those up then you can put a vehicle onto these extensions there but if you got something like a pickup truck down here or an SUV you can leave these down drops the height Hydraulic bank for the trailer. You got your slide. This is the red ones are obviously for your upper deck, lower deck. First one in the belly here. 
second. This is your um, your number nine deck up and down, and then your slide for your rear. A deck they call it so those actually lift up and down there's a I'll show you right there some pins so you can lift it up and down depending on what you're putting back here full aluminum floor it's got the uh, tire pro max so this will actually inflate and deflate. Right now I believe it's set to 110 PSI, so in the morning when it's cold it'll pump it up to 110, and then as we're driving down the road, let's say in the summer when it's really hot, if it goes over 110 it'll take the pressure out and just regulate it at 110. Forgot to show you on the head rack, I'll go back. Your air gauge, your weight gauge, This is your truck package. I'll show you on this trailer beside me because this is slid in, obviously. You got that pin right there that locks it in place. That one. And then, when it's slid out, it'll look something like this. So, basically, this thing slides out and it pulls that whole ramp with it. And then once it slid out all the way, you stand it up and lock it in. And it gets locked in by this guy right here. See, it even says right there. In case you forget, I mean, these things are a pretty big indicator of the truck package being open. That's how low the, I was gonna show you on my trailer as well, but that's how low the number nine deck goes. It goes pretty much all the way flat. See there? There's your strobe lights. Fuel box, or strap box, whatever you're gonna use it for. You got your sliding brake light. This slides all the way, like somewhere all the way back here. Like it's, it's got a lot, long way to slide. It can be really useful, obviously, if you're you got a pickup truck all the way, all the way at the back here. That's what it looks like with the uh, truck package slid in. Your ABS light is back here. tire inflation light when that light is on it means it's pumping air into the tires you got your drops for your uh, truck package if you got a truck back here in the number nine position these drop all the way down really cool thing they got grease fittings here so you can actually grease this one and the other one. It's actually a very, very good thing because over time these get dry and rusty and it's not good. I'll show you here. I'll show you another thing here at the back, which is really cool. Everything on here on the boys and at the back is very neat and organized. So, I'll show you on this trailer, it's the same in mine. That is for your tire inflation. So that valve there, what it'll do is it'll shut off the air going to it in case you have to get tire service or anything like that. There's also a 
little regulator in there if you want to bump up the pressure if you want them to if you want the system to pump 120 psi into the tires and so on and then this is the other really cool thing that's your electrical fuse box so it's split up into upper deck and lower deck and not only that but it's also split into four quadrants so split into one two three four meaning if you've got a short somewhere the whole side is going to go out and then you go back to that fuse box and you'll know exactly what's wrong with it you don't have to go chasing around <laughs> 